All right, I've got to address this. So, an opening ceremony is a massive thing for any massive event, especially the biggest sporting event. So here I am, you know, preparing up for the opening ceremony and everything, and I'm like, okay, it starts at this time. And I go to BBC, I'm like, what? <laughs> so I had to pretty much go to an American channel to pretty much watch the opening ceremony, which was actually very impressive. So here's the, the thing here. So what BBC did was, they, it was pretty much a hit piece on Qatar, why they shouldn't host it, the human rights violations of those building the, the stadiums and how they are, and their lack of um, LGBT rights. And now, because I said a minute since, but I want to just put it out in, in video form. I knew about this years ago. I remember there was an article that was done about the number of migrant workers that had um, died. And my thoughts was, oh, yeah, FIFA going to take him away from them. But obviously, FIFA will step in and be like, sorry, human rights violations. Okay, who can host a World Cup in two, three years' time now? Nothing happened. And I was thinking, like, oh, so FIFA, aren't they going to like... So this, because it was a big deal. And it was known because there was a massive article that was done. So now that we're here, you now saying, it's how could it... It's already done. You have to stop them from hosting it. So you have to go to FIFA and stop them from hosting it. Now that it has happened and it has gone through, what are you doing? That's one aspect. Now, there's another aspect because I talked to my brother about this. When you're here, see, so here's my thing. If, let's say, I had issues with this, what I would, there are two things you could do. Two, two things you can do. One is I'm going to make a statement. I disagree with the stuff that they've done. I think it is wrong and so forth. But I have a job to, to do, so I'll now focus on the football. But I'll just make a blanket statement, just once, and I, have to, and I now have to now do my job, which is cover for football, which is why I'm here. Second thing is, I boycott. <laughs> you know, like, actions speak louder than, than words. Rather than, yeah, that's bad, I'll say, no, I'm sorry, I ain't going. Mm -mm, I'm not going. Like, for instance, if, let's say, a tournament was hosted during Jim Crow laws in America, in the South, or a walk-up was hosted during the apartheid era in South Africa. I ain't going. I'm not going to go to apartheid South Africa and be like, oh, this is wrong with it. No, I ain't going. I'm not going to go to Jim Crow um, South America and be like, this is bad. No, I ain't going. If, if I feel strongly enough, I don't want to go. I don't want anything to do with our country and so forth because I feel so strongly. You can't be like, oh, it's terrible. It's bad. But you're going there. You will be staying at their five-star hotels. Because my thing is that as you're going there, don't go to the five-star hotels. Don't eat the, the food. Don't swim in the pools. Don't live lavishly because because they're so bad. Do not use anything. Stay stay in in like a a hot or something because you can't have it both ways. But here's the other angle, and this is what was people said on social media. So there is a fee that that you pay for a TV license. You know, it's about one hundred and sixty pounds for for BBC, ITV, and so forth. What about paying customers? You don't have the rights to decide what to or not to show paying customers. Because as people said on social media, I was like, wait a minute, you're charging me £160 a year for TV license. So expect to receive the product. Because, you know, maybe because it's not, it's not America, so English people are different, but if it's America, of course you can sue. I'll be like, wait a minute, I'm sure there's a breach of, of contracts. You have just arbitrarily decided not to show a major part of the biggest tournament in the world. This isn't just some fruit seller program. This is the World Cup, and this is the World Cup's opening ceremony. Okay, so my thing is that to decide just not to, to critique it, I'm like, you can't do that. You have to, I'm sorry, because you're covering the World Cup, and they've been given the World Cup, I'm sorry you are bound, and you have to show that opening ceremony. So I find that that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous because my thing is, you have you can't have your cake and eat it. If you feel strongly, you boycott. I'm not so BBC. If you feel strongly about this, don't show it. <laughs> you know if so, but if England you feel strongly about this, don't go because I'm sure those English players will be like, yeah, no, we are going to that World, World Cup. <laughs> yeah, I know it's bad. No, we're going to that World Cup and we're going to represent. And we're going to fully enjoy ourselves and fully perform at that World Cup. So my thing though is, guys, if, so BBC, if you feel strongly about this and so forth, as someone said on social media, cool, then give these, give the World Cup rights to someone else so they can show the full thing, the opening ceremony, 
I think about the about Bakatsa, the full thing and so on, because you can show the opening ceremony and still make a commentary. But no, yeah, no, you can. You can. You have to show the opening ceremony, and then you can have a segment that says, well, these are the issues we've had with everything. But even then, you have I am a paying custom. And I want to watch the World Cup. If I want to watch anything about political or so forth, I'll go to the news. I'm sorry, it is just what it is. <laughs> it is the World Cup. And people want to sh show the World Cup, the opening ceremony, the football matches, the analysis before and after the closing ceremony, boom. And then but you, you have all the time in the world to show other programs, special programs here, there, and, and so forth. So, but I just, I just, I, I cannot believe the BBC. I can't believe they, they did that. You can't do that. You can't do that to paying customers. You know, and for me, here's the thing though. What if people didn't know ways like I do to watch like American channels or channels from other places? What if people were like, all they have is BBC and all they have is, 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 is BBC? Did I've missed it? <laughs> so think about it. So what have what about people who are from the Middle East who grew up in England? People who are friends in Qatar and so forth, waiting for the opening ceremony and like, wait a minute, I'm on BBC and it's not here? Now, they said it might have been an iPlayer, but what if you're sitting down, BBC, you don't really have access to iPlayer, and you're like, wait a minute, you're not showing it? That it is, I mean, just as I'm thinking about it now, that's, that is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. And, bro, mm -mm, no. No, 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 no. You, you, you can't because my. You can't. I'm sorry, you can't. Because I'm, I'm trying to say, like, okay, what is the, the flip side here? The flip side is human rights. Standing in the, on the side of good. Always preach the good fight. And I think that it is important because I think what they said in the panel, make, make your statement. See, you can do two things at once. You show the opening ceremony, and when it comes to you, make your feelings felt. I feel strongly about this whole LGBT thing. I feel strongly about the amount of people who are to suffer and live under such conditions to create this state stadiums. You can have your view. Let's not get onto the football. But BBC, they spent literally the entire hour talking about how Qatar are messed up and they were wrong to host. And then they went to some other dude talking about how, oh, how can Qatar... So I was like, wait a minute, this is now like... So I was actually watching a political pro pro program. <laughs> but I think that's what I was saying to you guys, that you had yes. Ten, you had years to decide about this. You can't now come out because my thing is, what will this do? Those guys that got screwed over to create the stadiums, they got screwed over. It ain't gonna change it. That's happened, and you will not change their views on LGBT views because I have my my, my views on that, which I think is crazy. But I'm like, you're not gonna change their views on LGBT because that's just their culture. So, which I think is wild, but <laughs> they chose them. Give them the World Cup. You can't change into that. If you don't like the fact that they that you gave that, if you don't like the fact that FIFA gave Qatar the World Cup, you don't show it. You boycott. What you don't do is you go to Qatar, you cover everything, you use their their resources, you stay in their hotels, but you then crap on them. No, 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 no. If you feel strongly about that, that's how bad they're horrible. You don't go. I don't want to use your facilities. I'm not going to your country. I am boycotting. So people say, well, you're doing no, 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 no. What's your job? Your job is to report on the football. Hence why I said, even if your job is to report on the football, you can make a statement, a blanket statement, but the plethora and the main parts of your programming has to be reporting on the bloody event. You can't just ignore the opening ceremony and then just have a battle. How, how, because again, I'm sorry, you, you, this is business. You have paying customers who each pay £160 a year for a product. And one of the biggest products that you produce, which is the World Cup, which is something that everyone waits for for, for four years, a major part of that, which is the opening ceremony, you cost out, and your boy Morgan Freeman knows open that piece. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe I'm crazy. But this might be, but I just think that is just, that's, that's wild. Absolutely wild. Again, hit that subscribe button over there. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the um, roundup of the Monday's Games, man. One love.